हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ जिस्टी मीट वीडियो सीरीज टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टू इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ जिस्टी मीट फर्स्ट वन इज पीयर टू पीयर कनेक्शन एंड सेकेंड वन इज वीडियो ब्रिज तो लेट्स स्टार्ट गाइज पीयर टू पीयर दैट इज वन टू वन कनेक्शन इज अ टाइप ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल डेट वर्क वेन यू आर कनेक्टेड with only one participant so what happened is there will be a direct connection from participant a to participant b the benefit of peer to peer connection is the data channel will be between participant a to b or b to a there will not be anyone who will interfere or intercept your communication so guys let's continue to video bridge Here is a GitHub repository of Video Bridge. Anyone can come here to contribute to the open source platform. The brief intro of Jitsi Meet Video Bridge is here. Jitsi Video Bridge is an XMPP server component that allows for multi-user video communication. It means whenever there are more than two participants, the connection will route from Video Bridge. Unlike the expensive dedicated hardware video bridge, Jitsi Video Bridge does not mix the video channel into a composite video stream. This means, like other hardware-based video bridges, which basically compile all the video streams into one video stream and pass it down to the clients, which requires high CPU uses on the server side. So what? Let's say Meet Video Bridge Two is it only relays the receive video channel to the call participant. Therefore, while it does not need to run on a server with good network bandwidth, CPU horsepower is not that critical for performance. Let's learn the infrastructure of Let's say Meet Video Bridge. As you can see, Video Bridge acts as a central hub for all your browsers, and these browsers are actually clients. so what client do is client send their video stream up to the server and that just say meet video bridge relays those streams down to the clients some of the features that just say meet video bridge implements are google congestion control adaptive simulcast service adaptive last n xmpp api and rest api call start dot io integration so today we will be talking about google congestion control and adaptive simulcast service so what is google congestion control as you can see there are two participants one is sender and one is receiver the google congestion control implements a target byte rate of 2.5 mbps it means server server won't send more than 2.5 mbps data to the receiver so the few things will happen to limit the target byte rate of 2.5 mbps the first one will be it will degrade the quality the second one is it will drop the frame rate the third one is it will drop the resolution this is the reason when you are on a slow network you receive lower quality and lower resolution streams from other participants now we will be talking about how jitsi meet video bridge works with simulcast as you can see in this image there are three participant in a video call sender a sender b and sender c all the three senders will be sending three streams one of 720p resolution other one of 360p resolution and the last one will be lower it is 180p resolution so every browser will be recording this three streams and will forward it to sfu sfu aka video bridge will receive feedback from clients that how much bandwidth is, is available at their side so video bridge will decide but the best quality a receiver should receive in order to limit to max byte rate of 2.5 mbps 
which implements under Google Congestion Control. That is the reason some clients receive lower FPS or lower, res lower resolution frames as compared to others who are on good internet connection. So I hope guys, today I cleared two basic points. First one is peer-to-peer -peer connection and second one is let's say meet video bridge with two basic features google congestion control and simulcast if you like this video please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment below thank you guys